You start with me. Laura Shockavis with Palm, Platinum Assisted Living Mansion. So this is a process when you have a resident who is uh, actively dying and then when they pass. So if they're on hospice, it makes it a little easier, actually a lot easier for you. What you do is your first call, if you see that the resident is no longer breathing, your first call would be to your hospice company. So we have a specific hospice company we use in our house for the majority of our residents. So I have the, the line, I call that phone number, they come out, they take their blood pressure and check for a heartbeat. And if there's no blood pressure or heartbeat, then they, they pronounce death. Uh, from that point, it's pretty much hands off for you as the assisted living home. The hospice pretty much takes over from there. So the first call the hospice makes is to the sheriff uh, to release the body. So um, once they pronounce the death, they call the sheriff, release the body. And then from there, hospice contacts the family, which I also contact the family too. Uh, once we see that a resident is no longer breathing, we do call hospice, but then I also call the family. So that could be an extra step for you to, to make just as a, I mean, we're really close with our families here, so we, we wanna make sure that they're uh, notified appropriately. So then hospice will, again, call the sheriff, then they're gonna call the families, and then they're also gonna call uh, the cremation services. So hospice usually will be in conversation with the family on where the body's gonna go after they pass away. So uh, what we do here is we kind of go the extra step and we make sure that we know where they're going to so that if the family is having a really hard time with dealing with the death and they are flustered and don't really want to talk about all, all of these, these items, at least we can c communicate with hospice on where the body is going and who to call for cremation services. Those cremation services usually come within an hour and a half to three hours. So you definitely want to make sure that you have time for the families to come and view their loved one one last time before the cremation services comes and picks up their body. So that's kind of the steps. I know uh, a lot of times you don't <laughs> like talking about these types of things like death, but um, this is what happens in these homes. And so we want to make sure the process is streamlined and easy for the family um, and for everybody involved.